Estimate the rate of change at x equals 1 for the function f of x equals ugh, negative 1 half x squared plus 3 x minus a half. Now, we know the average rate of change. The average rate of change, the a rock, is going to be f of b minus f of a over b minus a. This isn't asking for that. This is asking for the rate of change at the very moment when x is equal to 1. Well, this involves calculus, and we don't know calculus yet. So we're going to use our calculator to give us a trick. See, we don't know the exact rate of change at 1, but what we could do is we can allow an interval that's awfully close to 1, like how about 1 and 1.0001. See, that's not going to give us the actual exact rate of change at 1, but it's going to give us the average between 1 and 1 1.0001, which last time I checked, 1 and 1 1.0001 is awfully close to each other. So that's how we're going to handle this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run to my calculator. I'm going to find out f of 1.0001 minus f of 1 over... 1.0001 minus 1. So let's take a step aside and do that. All right, so the way we're going to handle this is we're going to type in our function right into here. We're going to type out negative 1 half, so negative 1 divided by 2. You could do 0 0.5 if you want. Really, it makes no difference. Negative 1 half x squared plus 3x minus 1 half. So I'll do 0.5 because, you know, fractions make me nervous. When I take a look at the graph, I'm trying to find the instantaneous rate of change at 1, which means, you know, whatever my slope is at 1 is going to be my guy. And it looks like it could be a positive 1, positive 2, positive 3, but I'm not so sure. So what I did is I set up 1.0001 and 1. So I need to find both of those. So second calc is going to let me find a value at a specific thing. I'm going to use this to find the value of 1.0001 by hitting enter and then typing out 1.0001. Hit enter on that and that gives me 2.0002. Okay. Now if you remember from the problem, we said that we're going to do f of 1.0001 which is that, minus f of 1. So what's an easy way of finding out what f of 1 is? Go to second table, and there's f of 1. It's 2. So the equation that I'm going to set up is that f of 1.0001, so let's go back here and set that up, which was 2.0002 minus f of 1, which is 2, all of which divided by 1.0001, so let's throw that into parentheses, 1.0001 minus 1, close parentheses on that, and we get 2. So again, if we were to look at this graph, if we were to look at this graph, we can kind of see that at 1, if I were to draw a line there, it might have a slope of 2, maybe. I don't know, use your imagination, but that's what we're going to get to Dunzo. All right, so after all of that, we ended up getting what? 2.0001. We ended up getting 2 here. Oh, actually, that was 2.002, wasn't it? I'm trying to remember what I got. 1.0001 minus 1. When you did the math, you got 2. And so we said 2. And again, I wasn't really able to draw anything on the calculator, but what we saw was a picture that looks like that, a perfect parabola with a bump over here. And so at 1, which we could say that's 1, we had some type of slope, and that slope kind of looked like 2. So that slope is going to be 2. And the rate of change is a fancy word for slope, because doesn't that just look like the slope formula? It does. It should, because it is.